Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the Radeon RX 6600 XT in Red Dead Redemption 2. This one is the AFOX model of the card. We are running it with the latest AMD drivers as usual, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups. GPU Z, resizable bar is also enabled, and we got 8 gigs of GDDR6 in this GPU. And over on the left, we're pairing it with the Ryzen 7 5800X3D and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Ram. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first. I'm playing at 1080p and we're also going to test 1440p and 4K in this video. And I'm using the favor quality preset with a couple of changes that I made. So um, these over here are all set to the default settings. But down here, I set these three to high instead of ultra, which was the preset. And I also disabled the water physics as well as motion blur. And maybe I touched one of these, I think. Think, yeah, I think I, I touched this one and set it to high and this one to high as well. They were both set to ultra. I found that these settings deliver really good visuals and performance at the same time. So let's roll with them. I'm going to start counting our FPS here and it's right around 90 frames per second, which is actually pretty incredible, you know, like the amount of detail in this game uh, and the FPS that you're getting here with the 6600 XT RG just amazing guys and another great thing about this game is you don't need like a ryzen 7 5800x 3d like i am using right here or 32 gigabytes of ram to enjoy it stutter free and with high or like 60 plus fps all of the time even my i7 4770k when overclocked can achieve 60 plus 100 of the time even in cpu demanding areas like saint denis over here eight gigabytes of vram usage right there it's actually maxed out using these settings but it's not a problem in red dead redemption 2 even if you run out of vram it won't really start stuttering all over the place like some new titles <laughs> you know um so yeah this is a great experience here and these are the settings that i would recommend for someone using a 6600 xt in this game also that gpu is getting really hot again it's probably because of my room temperature i I think this cooler can't really cool off that 6600 XT very well. I'm probably gonna increase the fan speed to 100% in just a little bit, okay? Now, we also have some FSR in this game, but I don't really recommend it because it starts looking pretty pixelated. It's a weird implementation in this game. The LSS is also pretty weird uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2. It uh, adds some weird noise effects around hair and stuff like that so i don't really recommend using upscaling in this one go for native resolution if you can all right although i can still see some noise around arthur right there you know like that's pretty weird but i think that's just the taa implementation in this game oh yeah look at the shadows <laughs> they have a lot of noise right there hmm, i wonder if fsr is actually enabled <laughs> <laughs> at this point i'm not really sure you know like that is the look of fsr usually but no it's turned off if i set it to quality okay here we go fsr is on quality i'm gonna leave the sharpening at default and we should be seeing a bit higher fps now it's almost the same thing we gained like what five frames per second maybe slightly more than that but yeah i can definitely tell the difference here with fsr enabled everything looks way more noisy uh, if you follow Roach's legs, by the way, they have a little bit of ghosting behind them as well. It just doesn't look very good. You do get slightly higher FPS, but... <laughs> also, I already set the fan speed to 100%, by the way. Okay, moving up to 2560 by 1440 resolution using the exact same settings with no FSR. I disabled it. I'm not going to touch it again unless we get really low FPS at 1440p or 4K, you know. Um, but I think it should be capable of achieving decent and playable frames still at this res. Oh, hello there, little boy. How are you going? 
Oh, look at him. So cute. So cute. <laughs> so, 1440p is looking fantastic here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, the amount of detail that you get coming from 1080 to 1440 in this game is actually insane. Because the textures actually scale with resolution as well. They get better with higher resolutions. I think 1440p is definitely a great middle ground here. I like 60 FPS, obviously. Down into the 40s, by the way way but in a single player title like Red Dead Redemption 2 I think if it doesn't drop into the 30s I'd be fine with it like 40 plus 100% of the time um, with these graphics like this is absolutely gorgeous and amazing right now look at all of the leaves and the detail on them and the textures as well they're not bad whatsoever right like th this looks great just looks amazing <laughs> wow such a beautiful game and well-optimized one. Back when this game came out, people were saying that, oh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is like the worst optimized title ever. In 2023, I consider it to be a well-optimized game. <laughs> you just gotta adjust the settings yourself and not use like complete ultra settings. Otherwise, even like a 3090 will struggle to achieve 60 plus all of the time at complete maxed out settings aside from anti-aliasing. Also VRAM usage is slightly lower than we saw at 1080p, we saw 8 gigs of usage, you know. Maybe it's because we're in a different area right now, I'm gonna go to Saint Denis again to check out the FPS there. Oh boy, oh boy, is everything alright Roach? Oh, no, no, do not come back Roach, what the hell is that? Did you kill a fish or something? It, oh, yes! Yes! He's killing fish! Roach! You're a fisherman! A fisher horse! Oh my gosh! That is beautiful! No, no, Roach! Roach! It's okay! God damn it! Of course this would happen! Ah, all, right. all right! Come over here, boy! Everything is all right! You do not need to run away from me! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna load the story <laughs> where we started, okay, in Saint Denis, because I'm lost right now and Roach doesn't like us anymore. Okay, here we are, 6 16 a.m. in Saint Denis. Wow, just look at the, the lighting over there in the sky. It's just so beautiful. And it's around 69 FPS as well. That is also amazing. Look at that. Oh, yes. That is absolutely perfect. Also, it's really dark at 1440p. For some reason, whenever I'm using the capture card and AMD GPUs, 1440p looks super, super dark. You can see that over here, it's definitely less intensive than what we saw in the jungle area. Oh my goodness. I just love the lighting and the graphics in this game. It's just so gorgeous. And I, I, I know, like, textures could be better. Some people say, ah, the game doesn't look all that great, you know? And that's true, textures could definitely be better in some other things as well, especially like the TAA implementation is quite soft as well. But I mean, overall, you, you, you just see beautiful scenery in this game. I could play it just to look at the graphics, honestly. <laughs> there are some really, really awesome sights to look at here. That's it for 1440p res. Uh, I'm just gonna check it out with FSR for a second, just to see how it looks at this resolution. All right, here we go. FSR 2.0 on quality now. And we should be able to achieve like 60 plus. Ooh, and at 1440p, it actually starts looking pretty good. Almost like native resolution. I can still tell a little bit more noise, especially if you look at Arthur's jacket whenever there's a transition between shadow areas and sunny areas. You can see some noise there, but yeah, like that. It is actually looking pretty impressive, not gonna lie. And maybe on Roach's hair right there, yeah, there is a bit more noise than at native resolution. But I mean, I can't tell these imperfections because I am playing this on a huge monitor, 42 inches. I really like it just to see the all of the imperfections, you know. But we gotta keep in mind that if you are playing on like a 27 inch 1440p monitor, the PPI will be 107 or so. 
and it's gonna look really good. Like, chances are you're not really gonna notice much noise on a 27-inch panel uh, with FSR enabled, and now we're getting 60 plus FPS consistently all of the time, well above 60 actually, like 75 on average is really damn good. If it doesn't drop here, chances are it's gonna drop like once or twice maybe throughout the entire map. Damn bastard roach, why? Ah, there are so many crocodiles right here, or alligators, whatever. Yeah, it's definitely playable. Oh, the little dots in uh, Arthur's hair are still there with FSR. Those are more noticeable with DLSS than with FSR, honestly, but they're there if you look for them. Let's go up to 4K resolution next, using the same settings. I'm gonna disable FSR at the moment, all right? We're definitely gonna need it at this resolution, though. Here we go, guys. That is looking insanely detailed. Hello, Roach. How's it going, buddy? Good stuff. Thank you for coming. Like, if you're not with me, you can go by the crocodiles absolutely fine, right? But if you're with me, you gotta get me off your back. Ah, you freaking bastard. So this is definitely not a 4K gaming GPU. But how many of you expected, like, favor quality settings, what I'd call, like, high settings around that, maybe high to ultra, um, at 30 plus FPS at 4K resolution? Like, this looks insane. Honestly, if you have, like, a 4K monitor or maybe a 4K TV and you're playing games on it with your 6600 XT, I think I would lock it to 30 frames per second or 35 or so. Um, and play at native resolution because again like textures now are even better than they were at 1440p Details are way more noticeable now. Like it's just it's insane 4k resolution in Red Dead Redemption 2 It's so beautiful guys. So um, it's definitely very doable very playable it doesn't fluctuate too much It's around mid 30s most of the time Yeah, that is that is beautiful and amazing. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting a little bit lower frames, drops into the 20s maybe, but it's not doing that. It is really stable above 30. That is impressive. Over here with a lot of vegetation as well, it's not dropping. Usually these are like the most intensive areas. Maybe aside from a couple of towns here and there, you know, Strawberry in particular is super intensive, especially if you have um, the water physics set to like middle or anything other than minimum, basically. So this, uh, this is very good. This was a really nice experience. But the thing is, with FSR at this resolution, it will look even better than FSR did at 1440p. So it's probably a really viable option to enable it on quality or even balanced at 4K. But let's try quality first. All right. It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Like, what the hell? All right. I can see a little bit more noise around Arthur and Roach right there. Once again, the... Uh, horse's hair is very, very noticeable with FSR, the noise on it. But I, again, I was expecting a bigger difference in performance right now. Maybe we're gonna like touch 40 frames, but I think we're getting like, what, one or two more FPS? FSR doesn't really do much in Red Dead Redemption 2, apparently, to boost your FPS, you know? All right, I think I would just cap it to 30 frames per second, maybe overclock the GPU slightly to make sure that you get those 30 locked 100% of the time. I mean, most RX 6600 XTs will probably boost higher than the one that I'm using anyways. Um, so there's that. This is just a, a stock version of it, basically. All right, so I remember this area right here with the river down below. It usually dropped down there, by the way, by the river. Uh, especially, I remember like with the GTX 1080 or something like that, when I tested that, it dropped a lot here because of the water physics. Without water physics, it's actually less intensive. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right there, guys. I think that's been it for this one. I wouldn't really go lower than quality FSR, even at 4K, because I thought I wouldn't really notice the noise as much at this resolution, but I still did, so there's that. And as long as you get like 30 plus all of the time at this resolution, I consider it a win for the 6600 XT and a playable experience with gorgeous, beautiful graphics. 
So that's been it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.